Welcome to the 2016 J.P. College Report to the Community. I tell people all the time, J.P. College is a great place to learn. People who get an education are better in their lives, in the lives of their family, and the life of their community. And Chavy does that annually. We are indeed the community's college. I think one of the best things about Chafee College for myself is that we put students first. Education is the equalizer in our society, and so if we do our job right, students get career opportunities, they can make a better life for them, their children, their families. It's helping students walk from that moment when they don't know what they want to do or even why they're doing it to that point and you see them grow and mature that's the satisfying feeling. That's why we do what we do. That's what gets us back to work every day. I didn't know that school could be such a comfort for me, but it became just that. I was going through a divorce, job shut down, losing everything, lost my apartment, lost my car, had no clue where I was gonna live. I remember one of my instructors um, Michelle Jenkins. Michelle Jenkins was my dance history instructor and she looked at me and she said, you can't give up. And I said, well, at this point I think I am going to give up. I'm going to drop your class. And she looked at me and she said, you will not fail my class. You will not give up in my class. And I said, what do you mean? I don't care about dance history at this time. I'm trying to survive. She said, I get it, but this is going to be part of your journey. So I'm not going to let you drop. She became not just an instructor, but she became a friend and like a mother. And at the end, um, Michelle Jenkins said to me, I saw a fight in you, but I also saw you dying. And I knew that if I lost you in the beginning, that this was going to define the rest of your future. And I couldn't let you do that. And being here at Chafee, it hasn't been just school. It has been my lifeline. So my graduation is coming up soon, and I'm going to go to Cal State San Bernardino. As a junior, graduating, I'm so excited with my first degree my associate's degree in social work. I'm so, I can't, words can never express the joy that I have just looking for that day when it comes. I'll probably run across the stage myself just to say I made it. One of the finest things that we've done because of our outstanding faculty and staff is to be recognized as one of the best community colleges in the country by the Aspen Institute for College Excellence. Part of what we try and accomplish is to get the students hands-on experience in their field, whether it's in you know, engineering technology with 3D printing or in biology with actually collecting samples. That's something you, you don't get as a researcher. You, you know, it's actually seeing it in the classroom, just the spark going off, the joy that of discovering something new. The Living Lab initiative at J.P. College does that for many students because they see how what they experience in life can be taught here at J.P. College. The specific areas for me on campus for the Living Lab, one of the areas was of course the J.P. College Preserve where I did a lot of my, my taxonomy project out there, you know, going out there in the mornings, uh, looking at, you know, identifying the birds and catching a variety of different organisms such as insects, lizards. It really provided a more realistic, hands-on setting for how it's going to be like at the university and for, you know, a career as a biologist. Doing DNA extraction, that's hands-on, that's real world. People do that every day, you know, in labs all over. And I learned that right here at Chafee in Dr. Avila's Bio 61 course. It's like riding a bike. You need to go out and practice to ride a bike. You can spend all day reading a book on how to ride a bike. Same thing with science, same thing with biology. You can learn to just memorize information and regurgitate that on an exam. But here at Chafee, especially with the, the biology department, you need to be hands-on. 
such great resources here on campus. There's the Chief e. College Preserve that's just teeming with life. There's the Beaks Creek that's just teeming in life. There's so much here that Chafee provides for our hands-on learning environment for students. And that's what was just, that's what was, was amazing. That's, you know, really helped me with my success. At Chafee, we know that a primary goal of most of our students is to achieve a professional career. And the input that we've received from the manufacturing community is that there is a tremendous need for labor, skilled labor. Chafee College is a catalyst for change. And being a catalyst for change involves having community partners to collaborate, develop initiatives. And for our students and for our community, it involves Chafee College partnering with industry and business leaders to figure out what are the skills needed in the 21st century to be successful. And no better example of a collaboration between Chafee College and our community than our Intech Center located at California Steel in the city of Fontana. Chafee College has been really outstanding in developing relationships with our industry partners and we were talking about well wouldn't this be wonderful if we could have our own training center because it's difficult sometimes to get spaces at the college. It's expensive to have up-to-date, state-of-the-art equipment. We were able to fulfill that potential in the form of the Intech Center. And the Intech Center provides to students the highest level of technology available and instructors who are professionals in their field. So students learn about advanced systems and are able to bring the skill set to employers. The very employers sometimes who have actually helped us to develop the programming. So it's really a true collaboration. We have California Steel employees who are actually some of our instructors and trainers. Northrop Grumman has come here, they're recruiting from here. We have a lot of our manufacturers also come and they, they walk the facility. We have manufacturers in here almost every single day. So it's very unique that we have this collaboration and I think that's why the results are so great. You know, we are serving over 22,000 students on our campuses now, which is a record number for Chafee. And it is critically important that we provide our students with an environment that really supports and facilitates student learning and success. I mean, I think that everyone knows that the state of California right now is undergoing one of the longest drought periods in our state's history. And Governor Brown, for example, mandated a 25% water reduction across the state. We took that very seriously. You know, we, we wanted to lead by example and serve as a model to other organizations and even our residents in the community. In large part through the efforts of our grounds maintenance attendants and our director of facilities and physical plants, we not only met those mandates, we exceeded them. And in fact, we reduced our water consumption by 40%, which over the last 18 months has equated to 50 million gallons of water being saved. I worked other places before coming to Chafee and I've really never experienced the caring and thoughtful way that people interact with each other here. And we honestly, genuinely care about our students and care about their success and we care about each other. Chafee College changes lives. We are the first chance, sometimes the last chance for students. Students who are many times having adverse situations are various see Chafee College as a catalyst for change for them because it's not where you start, but where you end. I came to Chafee where at the time um, I was on felony probation and not really knowing what the future was going to hold for me other than that I wanted something different than my current circumstances. I had one of my classmates reach out to me and she said, hey, you know, Professor said that you have an interesting story about where you come from and do you mind sharing that? And so I was able to open up to her, share my story with her, and was asked to speak at the Dreamers Conference as the keynote speaker. And I immediately said yes, having not even given a speech before. The house was packed with people, President Shannon, Congressman Norma Torres. Uh, There's a lot riding on what I had to say, but I realized that I wanted to talk about how we all have the tools to become leaders. Um, sometimes you have to be the change you want to see in others instead of waiting for somebody else to take that step for you. 
Congressman Norma Torres asked to speak with me afterwards and offered me an internship, and I didn't respond, thinking that, uh, oh, who, who am I to do something like that, right? And a week later, her office contacted me asking for my resume, and that Monday, um, I started my internship, and once that was over, I got recommended for a position now with the uh, LA County Democratic Party. Before I uh, finished my term at Chafee, I actually finished my felony probation. And um, I went to court requesting formally to be taken off. And to my surprise, the judge that oversaw my trial, I had requested to have my whole case dismissed and expunged off my record. For me, I feel proud for the work that I do now because I'm representing all these communities, all these people, um, not just on the outside, but now I can come in and create opportunities for other people and being able to give back to the community that gave me a second chance. The district here is, is very diverse. It's a very large, thriving, growing community, and it will need better programs, stronger programs than we currently have. The college needs to grow along with the district, and it needs to not just respond to, but anticipate what the needs of students will be. So we're constantly experimenting with different ways we can offer classes, different methods, and it's really due to not just the faculty, but all the staff focusing on what can we do to remove barriers to success. I was six years old when my mother decided to come to the United States. This is practically all I remember since I was brought very young. I had education here, I had experiences here. When I went to high school, I had many dreams of going to college and having these amazing opportunities. However, I learned that I couldn't go to college because I didn't have a social security number. I didn't have papers that would allow me to continue higher education and I just felt lost. I, I felt like I didn't have a place where I belonged and I had no future. My future was to work at a factory maybe marry and have kids, but I had an opportunity to continue the dreams that I wanted to. Chafee gave me the opportunity to know that I could go to different colleges, I could reach my goals. Um, there was a period of time where I thought I couldn't do it, I thought the whole world was against me, but I definitely overcame that and that's with all the help of staff, professors, counselors here at Chafee College. They have really helped me, you know, grow as a person, grow as a student, and I'm, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I am going to be graduating this spring. When they call my name to receive my diploma and walk down the stage, I know I will have a big smile just like I have now and probably a couple of tears, you know, saying I did it and I could walk to my mom and say, look, all the hard work. Community colleges must be seen as the first choice for students. We are game changers. We change lives each and every day, one student at a time. What you're seeing today is just an example of what we and other community colleges across the country do each and every day so well. We're powerful, we're dynamic, we're Chafee College, and my God, we're Chafee Proud.